Hi everyone and welcome back to an edited home and this time round we're tackling the bathroom. I'm not gonna lie, I'll stick one of the other episodes up there in the corner, which I'm sure will be far more interesting than this episode. We've done the kitchen, we've done the bedroom, we've done the home office and I feel like with the bathroom you basically are just storing your bathroom bits in there but I still do have a couple of tips up my sleeve, four tips this time instead of the usual five and my ultimate space saving hack will be in there. Um, but I feel like really the fun bit of this video is gonna be the bathroom tour. So that is what we're gonna do now. And um, we, have, we have two bathrooms, which sounds way fancier than it actually is because basically it's just one. It's just split down the middle. We have a separate toilet and sink. And in this room, we have our bathroom and our shower. Our flat was a house that was like converted into flats. So that just kind of explains the slightly weird setup, but actually, I feel like it works really nicely for us and it means one of us can be sitting on the loo scrolling on our phone whilst the other one is in the bath or vice versa. When we have people over, it means you can go to the loo if someone's in the shower. So actually, I feel like it, it works quite nicely and I like this little setup that we have. Um, just for reference, when we moved in, that bathroom was like full of super grim mold. There was even a cat flap in the window. And then this room we called the Chokey from Matilda because it was red. It had like nails in the wall because the previous owner had like photo frames in it from like floor all the way to the top. And um, it was red, did I say that already? Yeah, it had a big uh, shelf like around the top as well, didn't it? It did, it had like a shelf around the top where the person who lived it before where their cats lived. It was a really like interesting bathroom situation. Oh, and it was carpeted, nice. So I feel like we've done quite the transformation. So let me take you into our toilet. <laughs> Obviously our toilet is just our toilet. There's not much to show you here. We have a toilet, a loo brush. We have a mini sink with some nice Aesop goodies above it. But I'd say perhaps the most exciting thing that I'll go into later is we have storage in this. So this is like storage because actually the wall is maybe like, I don't know, 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters further back. So we took a little bit of floor space and a little bit of like wall space to have some inbuilt storage here and that just works really nicely for us. Do you wanna show your print? It's a Tour de France take on a Vogue cover because last summer I became really obsessed with the Tour de France and the yellow jersey. Yellow jersey! <laughs> Julien Alaphilippe! <laughs> there was a reason we've been putting this one off because ultimately our bathroom is like a fine size but it ain't palatial so we're recording this video is a real like mm -mm -mm puzzle but this is the bathroom section that actually has the bath and shower in it and then also our sink in it. I've taken over just so I can show you basically what is my pride and joy. This is a huge, huge mirrored cabinet from Ikea. They do them for such a good price compared to other places. And inside is perhaps my favorite corner of the flat. And this side is Mark stuff, but this side is like all mine. I've got like my everyday beauty bits there. Then I've got sort of extra additional things. Then I have a little section up here with like tools and bits and bobs. And then this is like a bit of an everyday makeup setup, just if I wanna do something very, very simple, very casual. And then at the top, I have masks. I can't lie because that section goes all the way over to the other side and also <laughs> fills out onto uh, that shelf as well. And then here we've got Mark stuff, dental hygiene. But yes, I just absolutely love this storage. It just keeps everything nice and clean and tidy. I know where everything is and it gives it a nice home and it looks super cute too. And then this double sink was again from Ikea and I just love how much storage we get out of it. We just had previously no storage in here at all. So in the first drawer, we just keep towels. And then in the second drawer, I mean, it's kind of halved, kind of not. This is Mark's section here. I mean, how much sun cream does a guy need? But you know, sun protection first, safety first, guys. And then here I keep my flannels. This is where I put my reusable cotton pads after I've used them. And then I've just got backups of 
toothpaste, that kind of thing. And then over here, I've got like shampoos, shower gels, any bits that I use in the bath, my crazy face mask, my tanning mitt, any sort of body bits there. But yeah, I just absolutely adore this section. I've never stood on this side of the toilet. It feels very strange, I'm basically on top of the toilet here, but it's cool. Mark cleaned this yesterday. He loves cleaning the bathroom. Yet another reason why I married this wonderful man. But if like us, you have a boiler in your bathroom, I feel like a lot of people might have that situation. I would 100% suggest some kind of inbuilt storage option. So previously we just had our boiler like out on the wall and it was just hanging out, gathering dust. And now it's behind here. This is where it lives, it's easy to get to, and ultimately it gives us loads of storage space as well. So we never had a bathroom where we could fit our toilet roll in, our kitchen roll in, tampons, my moon cup. <laughs> Boy, it's just giving us a little display as well. Yeah, it just wants to say hi. Hand lotion, hand wash, like we can put backups in here, and it's just so nice to have this option of storage. Like, I really don't take it for granted. My second tip would be, to invest in these like little tiny shelves where possible. Um, so this one is from John Lewis. And I'm just like not into having loads of stuff like around the sink or around the bathroom. So where possible, I like to have it raised out of the way so it's not getting like moldy and gross on the bottom. It's not getting all like wet and damp every time you wash your hands. And ultimately it makes it far easier to clean and just keep everything like clean and tidy around your sink. So if I can't find this one in stock anymore, cause I think we got it like two, three years ago now, I'll see if I can find a similar one and link it down below for you. But I'm all in for bathroom storage that looks kind of chic, that makes things easier to clean. Like I'm here for it. Also what I'm here for, the Aesop post poo drops. Aren't they, aren't they the best? They are fantastic. Number one, they genuinely work. This might be TMI for YouTube, but we gave these as wedding favors <laughs> at our wedding. And all of our friends and family are obsessed, like actually obsessed. They're like, wish you never got us into the 20 pound poo drops. I bet they're more than 20 pound now because this is a super old bottle, but just keep that aside. Just so guests, like it's all cool. If you need to do what you need to do around here, We've got the drops, like it's fine. I can't believe I just spoke about that on YouTube. <laughs> My third tip is in regards to skincare and just like a reminder that skincare is gonna go off quicker if it's in somewhere that's like super hot, super moist, super damp, if it's in direct sunlight. And so if there's any way that you can store it in a place that doesn't get like too hot and steamy and store it out of direct sunlight, like that is just, your skincare is gonna thank you for it. So I know Caroline isn't the biggest fan of keeping skincare in your bathroom, but like we live in a flat, there really wasn't anywhere else that it could go but it's out of the sun, it's out of the way. Whenever we're in the shower, we always make sure this room is really well ventilated so it doesn't get too steamy and hot in here. And it's just nice to kind of have it away. So if not only from just an organization point of view, I also recommend keeping your skincare out of the way from like an expiry date point of view, you know, like double whammy. And then tip number four, my final tip before we get onto the super space saving hack tip, is I just don't like having loads of stuff round by the shower. I'm just not into it. We've had it before and I feel like it gets so lime scaly for us anyway. Our water is really, is it soft or hard? I can never remember. It's really hard and it means that lime scale gets everywhere and it gets on everything and it's just such a mare to clean. And I'm thinking of Mark here because he's the one that cleans the bathroom. This is making it sound like Mark cleans the whole house every week we, we half it i take everywhere else he takes the kitchen and bathroom it's cool but obviously you're gonna need to get some products out to take into the bath and into the shower so we keep all of those products in these drawers down below and we just take out what we need and then we just dry them off and put them away whenever we're done and that just keeps it very neat and organized in here and like i mentioned easy to clean do i need to say it again but if you're from a big family, I get that it might be like difficult to kind of know who's who's, what's what. So I would recommend keeping each person's like bath and shower bits in a little, not a bucket. It's called a caddy, isn't it? That's it, like a caddy. That is the word that I'm looking for. Some kind of caddy that you can always keep in a storage drawer like this. And then everyone has their own little caddy and they can take it out they can do their stuff and then they can put it away. I mentioned it in the book. I actually went back to my book to try and think of tips for this video. And I was like, yes, that is perhaps the best tip that I have for bathrooms in the book. Like a nice little shower caddy. You can take it there, 
take it back, nothing gets covered with lime scale. So I just told Mark my ultimate space saving hack and he was like, okay, cool. You basically just made the whole video about this. But like I mentioned, bathrooms are tricky because it's basically just like, where the hell do you put your shower gel? Hopefully I've given you some ideas. But my ultimate space saving hack <laughs> is to invest in storage, which I feel could be the case for every single room. Um, obviously, we went with this IKEA number and this IKEA number, and it has just been quite honestly life changing when it comes to like getting ready in the morning, obviously, taking all my makeup off in the evening. It makes the whole thing really quite a delight. However, Previous to that and in our place in London, we had no storage. We didn't have any over the sink storage. I think we just had a little shelf. It was tiny. It was literally like this really tinsy tiny little shelf that we could put our toothbrushes on and really not much else. So we actually invested in a Muji storage box. Um, I will put a photo of it here, but that was brilliant. That did us for like a good solid three years in the London flat. We had it until we renovated our bathroom. So I think we had it for about two years here, maybe three years, three years we had it here. And that was just a way of keeping all of our skincare, all of our bath and shower bits in the bathroom in a format that was really easy to move around, a format that was really easy to clean around. And it was just like hardy and brilliant. And I would really, really recommend that. So I will see if I can find the link to that and link that down below for you if you're struggling for storage in your bathroom. But if you can, invest in it. Sort of an inbuilt cabinet situation will honestly work wonders. If you're renovating your bathroom anytime soon, definitely something to consider and it doesn't have to be super pricey. I will link both of these down below for you as well. So that is it. Those are my tips. Perhaps not the most extensive one out of the bunch, but I will link all of the others on a playlist down below for you if you want to catch up with my tips for the kitchen, the home office and the bedroom. So we basically have the lounge left, like our living room, but we kind of want to have a bit of a rejig with it. So you might need to wait a while for that. And then we've obviously got the big cleaning grand finale. So those are the two episodes that are coming up, possibly soon, possibly not soon. If there's anything you want to see in those, drop me a comment down below and I will try my best to answer your question in those videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Bye.